Hello, baby. Welcome to Serial at Midnight. I'm Heath, and in this episode, we are talking about something I love, and that's music history, specifically rock and roll music history. This is Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics, a brand new DVD box set from Time Life in association with Sofa Entertainment, which is the rights holder of the Ed Sullivan catalog. So this is licensed Ed Sullivan performances, 128 music performances as seen on the Ed Sullivan show. Now you guys know that Ed Sullivan was at the center of pop culture from the 50s to the early 70s and that it was appearances on his show that turned some of these acts into household names because millions of people saw them when they performed. The Beatles on Ed Sullivan, well, that's the birth of Beatlemania in the U.S. Uh, also, the start of the British Invasion. Elvis on The Sullivan Show. Now, he'd already done The Steve Allen Show. By the way, Steve Allen is on the set and one of the extras talking about booking Elvis and putting him into tucks and tails and having him sing to the hound dog. Uh, that's here. Um, so many recording acts came through, the, sh came through the, the doors of The Ed Sullivan Show. And... It's an ama this is an amazing record of music history. The Supremes, The Four Tops, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Vanilla Fudge. What, it's one of my favorite performances here. Uh, it is unreal. The, the spectrum, the range that this covers, going from, you know, Buddy Holly and Elvis and uh, uh, Paul Anka is here, but then all the way up through, you know, Motown, through the psychedelic movement, and then like Vanilla Fudge and Steppenwolf is here. It is unbelievable. Uh, so this is a 10 disc set. Eight of the 10 discs have live Ed Sullivan performances on them. What are the other two discs? We'll talk about that in just a second. Here's how it's all broken down. It's two, it's two sets. It's two halves. This is discs one through five, and this is uh, volume two discs one through five. Blue menus, yellow menus, they reflect the theme. You can, there's some of the acts on the cover there. The Birds, Elvis, Janis Joplin, the Beatles, the Beach Boys, uh, CCR, the Association. Absolutely spectacular stuff. Uh, each one of these, this is how they're broken down here. Each one of these discs runs uh, about an hour of music plus special features. So the way they've done this is these shows were uh, created, I believe they were created, they've been packaged. It's not just original performances. This has been packaged. And I believe the packaging of this goes back to the 90s uh, when they were you know, putting things together for syndication. So what we have is this, uh, th these chunks that run 15 to 20 minutes each. And they'll focus, so here's top hits of 1965, 66, 67, and then special features. So each of those is about 20 minutes. And uh, they give us you know, context, like what's going on in 65, you know, talk about the counterculture revolution. They'll talk about what's happening politically or whatever for context and then song and then context song. So that's how it's broken down. Uh, and I wasn't sure how I felt about that at first, but it really won me over because there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I know a lot about music history, but there's just certain things that I didn't know. Like when they're talking about Tom Jones, they get into how the BBC wouldn't play. It's not unusual. And Radio Caroline, the pirate station, Pirate Radio started to play that song and it became a hit and then, then it took off, right? Um, I didn't necessarily know that. I, I know some of this stuff, uh, but the interviews, so here, the special features themselves. So each disc, like I said, an hour of performances roughly. Some of them are as low as 44 minutes, 44, 45 minutes. But then they're supplemented by extensive interviews. Uh, why do I have the history of rock and roll over here by me? So this is another... Uh, set that was made from basically from the people behind Time Life in the 90s. Between 93 and 95, there was this huge interview um, project for the history of rock and roll. And they talked to everybody. And they have these extensive interviews recorded between 93 and 95. And uh, there are clips on these, you know, this is a five disc set, the history of rock and roll. But the interviews are huge right and so they've when applicable they've included the interview like a full interview for that segment so when we talk about the 11 spoonful on disc one we've got like 30 minutes with john sebastian from the 11 spoonful from those 93 to 95 interview segments uh when we talk to you know we've got gladys knight and the pips performance then we get 40 minutes with gladys knight talking about what it was like how the pips were formed 
or, you know, touring with her family, touring the South in the 60s, the segregation and the prejudices. Uh, so much added information here. By the way, Gladys Knight is one of the stars of this set because she is so fun to listen to. It is absolutely amazing. And like I said, when we talk about Elvis, we've got Steve Allen talking about booking Elvis before Ed Sullivan. We, uh, they've got Milton Berle talking about what it was like to be on the set when they were kind of rehearsing and how nobody really got what Elvis was doing. They're like, what is, what's with this kid? Um, but so much of the story is told from the musicians themselves. David Crosby from The Birds talks about how he was so, uh, that he got into a shouting match and almost came to blows with the production manager on The Ed Sullivan Show and that you can see in his performance that he's really not happy. He doesn't want to be there and they were never asked back because of the conflict. Um, and so there's just a lot of history here as well. So it is the musical performances with segments, you know, like one minute introductions for every song, but then there's a lot of, of, uh, of musical history that's gone into behind, behind the scenes as well. The booklet really tells the story of everything that's here. It's got a lot of, did you know, facts, like Stevie Wonder's real name, how he was, you know, discovered at the age of 10. Uh, and this is sort of our guidebook here. I'll show you the, the full, oh man. The killer. You, of all the acts here, I think Ed Sullivan enjoyed Jerry Lee Lewis the most because he he was just so, he was like, come on over, like pumping his hand. He's really excited. And Jerry Lee Lewis in the interview segment, I think there's 20 to 25 minutes with Jerry Lee Lewis from these sessions um, talking about he, of, of all the acts that, rec that practice for the Ed Sullivan show, he's the only one that Ed Sullivan came to watch practice. So... Very cool. Uh, here's how it all breaks down. I'm going to hold this up and you can freeze this so you can read everything. These are the, the performances on each disc. As you can see, it is pretty incredible. And there's the second page of this. And then the final page covering the second volume. And you're going to see that the last two discs are not performances from the Ed Sullivan show. The, the fourth disc, here I can actually show you. The fourth disc, see here, they're, they're all labeled with what they are, and then you get to disc four, and it's the Ed Sullivan All-Star Comedy Special. Now, this was an hour and a half special. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore kicks it off. They've got George Carlin, Richard Pryor, all the, all the comedy people that came through the Ed Sullivan show. That's what it is. It's a tribute to the comedy of Ed Sullivan. So you note, that's not rock and roll. So, um... I think that's worth noting is that there's a disc here that is not rock and roll. And then the fifth disc is the history of rock and roll disc two. So from this larger set that I'm talking about disc two, why that disc, I guess because it fits uh, sort of with the time frame that they're focusing on here, which is fifties to early seventies. Um, talking about the British invasion, talking about soul music, you know, 60s. Uh, so I guess they just felt like con contextually it was a good fit. Um, and those, there are bonus interviews, you know, from that set on that disc. But it's an interesting, you know, it's interesting because this could have been an eight disc set, but it's not. It's a 10 disc, disc set with comedy and two documentary parts of a, of a larger five disc set. So um, I think that's worth noting because it's, that's it's it's what they've chosen to do uh but by and large this is really an incredible box set i love it this is the kind of thing that i like to just have on throughout the day and time life has been so great with you know i'm thinking of like the various box sets that they've put out of musical performances over the years uh here's the thing that we got to talk about music rights clearance issues for home media are totally different than they are for uh, television or for, for things like that. We're talking about ownership of discs that contain copyrighted music. So Time Life has to seek out the license for these, which is where Sofa Entertainment comes in, and they have to clear all of these songs. I mean, you, you can own the Beatles and Elvis doing their original numbers, right? Uh, you can own the Supreme. So it's, it's really cool that we're in a place now where this is able to be licensed, it's able to be cleared. I wonder, like in the back of my head, I'm like, well, what couldn't they do? You know, were there two discs that were planned of, of more Ed Sullivan that couldn't be cleared? I don't know. It's really interesting to speculate. Um, but these performances are timeless. You see a lot of these. They're just legendary. Like the Beatles clips from Sullivan. It's legendary. Um, I should also mention that none of these performances are all of those. Like the Beatles on Sullivan 
you don't get performance, performance, performance. It's all scattered throughout. So you'll have one Beatles song on one disc, another Beatles song on another disc. Elvis, I think there's like six performances scattered across three or four different discs because they never show you more than one. Um, so again, it would maybe would have been cool to have everything kind of chunked together, um, but you can also access it through the menu. You can get get the performance that you want through the menu. But it's just interesting the way that they've kind of it's it's packages. These are package presentations. It's not just the raw performance footage. It's a package, uh, presumably made for syndication. So uh, Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics. I think this is the cat's meow <laughs> so this is uh, available uh october 11th 2022 is the street date for this you can get it directly through time life uh, but i've also seen it pop up on amazon so i'm going to put a link in the description of this video to amazon and if you use that link you're supporting cereal at midnight because we get a small percentage of every sale of that uh, and you're getting some of the best rock and roll performances ever. Well, it's not just rock and roll. It's also soul and, and so much more. Uh, the best live music performances that have ever existed. So I love this. Uh, it's probably a candidate for best of the year. I want to know what you think about it, what you think about these musical acts, the history and legacy of Ed Sullivan. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's celebrate it in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much. Take care. Until next time, I will catch you later.